Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 30th of 2021, well, it is titled A Fire Rainbow Over West Virginia. So what do we see here? Well, we look out in the distance and we see a rainbow. But this will not look like any rainbow you've likely ever seen before. But you can certainly see the distinct changing of colors from the violet down below through the blue, green, yellow, orange and red color up at the tips of the tendrils. However, it looks almost like it is burning, like there is a burning fire in the sky with the blue at the bottom, as you would see in a very hot flame and the red at the very tip. Now what this is, is a certain kind of rainbow that occurs under very special conditions. And we sometimes call it a fire rainbow or a circumhorizon arc. And it appears to be parallel to the horizon there. Now in order to see one of these, the conditions have to be very particular. So the sun has to be at least 58 degrees above the horizon. Now the horizon goes from zero degrees at the horizon to 90 degrees straight up. So the sun has to be relatively high in the sky. And that means for those at uh, certain latitudes, you can only see this at certain times of year. So at the, in the winter months, you would not be able to see this at relatively northerly latitudes because the sun would never get that high in the sky. Um, you would be able to see it at other locations. And of course, in the summer when this was taken um, earlier this month, it was able the sun was higher than that would reach over 58 degrees so that it was something that could be visible. The second thing you need are the thin cirrus clouds that occur, relatively thin clouds made up of ice crystals and the ice crystals are in the shape of a hexagon. And they also have to be all aligned horizontally to allow for the sunlight to be bent properly. And when you get that, then you can get a rainbow that doesn't look like the ordinary arc stretching across the sky from the rain drops that occur. This from the ice crystals gives this very erratic pattern looking like flames in the sky, as we can see in the image here, taken in West Virginia earlier this month. But a rare sight to see because you have to have all of the conditions right. Had this the other conditions occurred, say, three months later, the sun would not have reached such a height and would not have been able to see the image that we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 30th of 2021. It was titled A Fire Rainbow Over West Virginia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.